Welcome, it's King Lizard on Xbox One with Forza Motorsport 6 Racing Action and this is part 3 of my Porsche Anthology series I'm doing for my channel and this is the 1957 Porsche 356A Speedster that I'm driving it's not a bad little car this, it actually handles pretty well out of the box obviously none of these cars that I'm doing for this Porsche series of videos that I'm putting up are tuned or upgraded they are as stock as per DLC so I'm getting caught up a bit here on some of the midfielders trying to get off them there, kind of a locked up bumpers but in terms of handling this is actually a pretty good handling car it's also you know probably partially due to the fact it's not the fastest car in the world it is reasonable speed it does feel quite good when you're racing so it still feels quite exhilarating quite exciting I'm driving without assists here on this full circuit Lime Rock Park it's a full lap race so I'm finding as I said before it's handling wise this is you know quite a good car it's not something you have to worry too much about I am racing up against professional AI here so it's going to be a real tough race for me I may not get a first place but as long as I get a third I pass the in-game objective so that's obviously what I'm aiming to do ok so we're coming up to the end of the first lap here just about in 6th place or that 6th place, 7th place contender will be fighting me for sure I'm pretty certain of that given it's pro AI difficulty here and this corner is the one that undoes a lot of people online you really do need to slow down for that corner to pay it some respect this one you can generally roll around try to avoid that tyre barrier quite a nasty one but quite a tight left coming up again you can roll this one round you can keep it in third for this particular vehicle and then again a little bit of a roll and now you can kind of put your foot to the floor and push this thing all the way until we get to kind of the end of this particular section so at this point trying to get as much as I can out of the gearing and then slight slowdown as we go up this hill you generally want to be inferred to get up the hill and you know, it makes life a lot quicker for the car it doesn't cause too much slowdown that's quite a tight one this one so I need to back off a little bit I caught that other competitor there that's dropped me back into 7th now that collision and then this corner is quite tight you can get good speed around this corner but you do need to back off a little bit and I mean a little bit you don't want to back off too much because you will get overtaken there especially on pro AI difficulty and then into the straight and obviously stretch those gears out if you're driving manual like me make sure you get those gears into that red line before you change otherwise you're wasting precious acceleration so another little bit wider there I was in there a little bit hotter into that corner again you can pretty much roll and then accelerate around that one this one's a little bit tighter but not by much again you can kind of roll around and accelerate and just back off where you need to if you're going that little bit too fast this one we can put, put to the floor again and push away. Let's switch to internal. Look at this dash. Something from vintage days. It looks absolutely stunning. I really like this dash. Quite simplistic, but it, it's just got that you know 50s look to it. Looks you know really really aesthetically nice. Really nice car in silver. This actually I do prefer the silver version. It just looks right in silver. I can't imagine it in any other colour to be honest. I'm coming up to the end of the third lap which is going to put me into lap 4 it gives me one lap to catch all four vehicles in front of me here so it's going to be pretty tough pro racing is really really difficult to be honest I'm finding this harder than I find the unbeatable AI in Forza 4 but in order to have a chance at these higher levels especially pro and unbeatable and even to some respect expert you do need to be driving manual you also need to be switching things off in terms of assists as much as you can in order to improve those times on the rivals perspective obviously you know driving a clean lap is one way of getting ahead in rivals and doing quite well another way is to switch off those assists and get used to controlling the car without the stability control without the traction control without steering assists that will give you more speed and better handling from the vehicle however of course it will make the vehicle handle very negatively in the event you do something wrong you know it's really hard to get a car back 
with no assisted steering if it starts to go awry sometimes and you'll see more of that in the later episodes of this Porsche anthology that I put together I've got some more coming up soon from some later spec cars too so I managed to pull in a second place here after four laps uh, that wasn't a bad performance if I may say so so I'll leave you guys and gals to watch the video and I'll be back at the end enjoy
Well, thanks for watching. This is King Lizard signing off. I'll be back again very soon with more Forza Motorsport 6 Porsche DLC action. Please remember to rate the video. If you're not a subscriber, please support the channel by pressing that sub button. Take care, keep watching, and keep well.